he's misunderstood yeah. Some say that he's up to no good Around the neighborhood But for your information A lot of my brothers got education Education, education Hello everybody and thank you for joining me tonight. My name is Josh Clark. This is episode number 31. This is D Zinicism. That's D E S I N I C I S M dot com. Uh, so tonight we're going to look at um, modernity, which is driven by spectatorship, power, and knowledge. So initially today we're going to look at uh, spectatorship and the gays which is a theory of address and similar to um, uh, Althusser's interpolation uh, uh, but uh, is more um, a theory of address um, which tries to invite uh, certain responses from particular viewers. This concept of the gays uh, tends to draw upon um, some psychoanalytical theory and uh, some of Freud's contribution um, looking at how our subconscious desires um, shape and form uh, our realities. Uh, so in order for us to look at this concept of the gaze we have to uh, first try and put it in context and where uh, this idea comes from. The historical period of modernity has a lot to do with this. Um, from roughly the 17th century to um, about the mid 20th century, there's continuous and rapid growth and change. Um, the principal driving force is capitalism. So there's the, the key tendencies uh, are uh, industrialization, secularization, technology, uh, urbanization, and modernity is the response to all of this. Modernity would um, affect uh, art, literature, uh, architecture, culture. Um, and uh, as a result, the technology would uh, uh, form really one of the greatest uh, developments of the 20th century in the urban landscape, which is the skyscraper. So, in this, this modern period, especially in the early 20th century, we have to look at uh, this this relationship that's evolving between um, the individual and this new modern landscape that places department stores, which are which is also a new concept, uh, brought about by industrial capitalism, which displays its goods. Uh, for, for consumers to gaze at. So the individual uh, begins to develop a specular relationship uh, to this new urban landscape. Also we need to look at uh, enlightenment philosophy which also runs uh, concurrently to uh, modernist ideology um, uh, Descartes uh, is, is one of the principal figures who uh, tried to encapsulate this 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 concept of the philosophy of enlightenment uh, in a single phrase I think, therefore, I am. Uh, and what, what, what Descartes was trying to get at, uh, if I can think about thinking, uh, therefore, I know I exist. 
So if I can, if I doubt, have doubts in my thinking, that just reconfirms the fact that I'm thinking. So these two things, if we look at modernity as well as enlightenment philosophy, uh, these, these two things uh, form the liberal human subject. This, this is what encapsulates um, the, the typical liberal individual. The cynicism, a fusion of design and cynicism, is a philosophical position which questions the industrial agenda as well as tries to encourage purpose-driven and values-based work within the design community. Dezinicism.com is a division of Blockaway Innovation and is a global parent and supporter of UNICEF which strives to ensure health, education, and equality for children everywhere.